Hey friends, before I start this video, I completely forgot when I recorded it to tell you that this is a part of the Clean Mama Cleaning Routine Monthly Focus for July. So if you're not familiar with Clean Mama, I will link the video that I did in the description box below. She has a monthly focus each month for um, tidying up and organizing different parts of your house. And July is all about organizing systems. And so I thought I would take that opportunity to organize my craft cart. So that is where the idea for this video came from. I hope you enjoy. place.com and in today's video I want to talk to you all about how to organize a craft cart before we get started like I said my name is Betsy I have a wonderful husband and two little kiddos both of whom are still in diapers and so life is very busy at our house but I do still take time to do some creative kind of crafty endeavors I'm not a super serious crafter like I need to say that up front, but there are definitely things I do, a little bit of painting, a little bit of card making, some different things like that. Up until this point, I have been using the little plastic drawers in the top shelf of my closet. This has not been a great situation. It seemed like a good idea initially. It's up, it's out of the way, and it's semi-organized in drawers. But the biggest problem is that stuff is not visible because it's up on a shelf, and also because I can't really see into the bins and the bins aren't labeled. So there's a bunch of problems going on there. But bottom line, I needed a system that was visible, that I could access things easily, that I could put things away really easily, and that I could tuck out out of the way and keep safe from small hands. So if you're watching this video, I probably don't need to convince you of the benefits of these three tier rolling carts. You've probably seen a lot of different pictures on Pinterest of how you can organize these carts for your crafting supplies. And there are huge benefits. They are mobile. You can roll them anywhere, put them anywhere, tuck them out of the way. You can pull them out easily. If you are short on square footage, like we are in our home, it is so nice to have an option where everything can be organized and visible but it can move when you need it to move and it's not set in a particular area. I got our three tier rolling cart from Target and it was about $35 I want to say but uh, Ikea also has a great option and Amazon also has a great option as well so you can kind of shop around and see what you like and what might work for you. So steps to organizing a craft cart. Number one we all know it, we hate to do it, and that is to declutter. Declutter your craft supplies. <laughs> this is hard to do because the nature of crafting is that you kind of hang on to little bits and pieces because you might use them in a future project. Seamstresses do this with sewing projects. You know, you don't want to let go of these scraps of fabric because you might use them for something else. But before you know it, all of your scraps kind of overtake your supply closet or whatever you've got going, and it just becomes overwhelming. And so, Decluttering is really the first step in making sure that you can have an organized craft cart that is usable. I went through my crafting supplies, looked over everything. I found a bunch of things that either I had forgotten I had, and so I wanted to pull those out and make them more visible and accessible, or I found stuff that I hadn't used in ages and I thought, I don't need this. And so I ended up being able to get rid of a bunch of things and then being able to take the things that had kind of been tucked away or squashed away and, and not visible and pull them into a space where I was able to see them regularly and be able to use them more easily. Step number two after decluttering is to divide and compartmentalize. This is key. You want to, and this is actually a principle for organizing the rest of our homes as well, is to group like items with like items. So this is pretty easy to do in a craft cart. You are taking the colored pencils and you're putting them with the colored pencils. You're taking your glue sticks, your whatever. You're grouping those together and putting them in one spot together. And so you wanna group those things first and then compartmentalize them. And I have wonderful ideas for compartmentalizing on a budget. One thing that I did was I took the labels off of tin cans and I spray painted them black and with paint that I already had on hand and I went ahead and used that for my uh, writing utensils. So drawing pencils, colored pencils, pens, that kind of stuff. And they turned out great and they were free. Another great option I found was at Dollar Tree, no surprise, I love Dollar Tree. 
I found these little crate, miniature crates, if you can see them. They're so cute. Those were a dollar each. And I use those to compartmentalize some of my smaller things as well. And I got, I'll insert a little video clip here. I had a great haul from Dollar Tree last time I went in. They have something called Crafters, oh, I think it's called Crafters Corner. Maybe it's called Crafters Square. Anyway, where they have a bunch of different kind of different kind of crafting things. And I got these little miniature wood pallets. I got these little wood boards. And I got this nautical rope um, that is so cool. I am really looking forward to using this stuff in different projects, but um, all of it is only a dollar. And so I was just thrilled with what I found. Another thing that I found were these little collapsible bins. You can see. These little collapsible bins are great. I found them at the Target uh, Bullseye's Playground, the dollar spot at Target, and it was a three pack for $5. And I use these for my jute string, my ribbon, my paint, my glue, my chalk. They're just very easy to pull right out of the cart. Um, and they also, honestly, this isn't a functional note, but they are so cute and they match the white cart and I really like how they looked. There are tons of other great ideas for cheap containers. If you are just short on funds and need to do things on a super tight budget, like I said, using tin cans, use a Kleenex box, use an old little miniature cardboard box. You don't have to do anything fancy and expensive. You can use what you have, spray paint it, just make it your own and not have to spend a lot of money. Third step is labeling and labeling is fun. It's also important, obviously, so that you can remember what you have in different containers. And these little chalk labels are so cute. If you can see, they have little clothes pins. I'm trying to see if the camera can focus here. Here we go. Little clothes pins here that um, are so cute for just, you can clip it right onto whatever container you are trying to label. So those were also from the Dollar Tree and those were just a buck. Final note, I would just encourage you to make this a fun project. The whole point in doing this is to make your crafting supplies accessible, to make everything visible, and to make everything so that you know what you have on hand. You can easily grab it and start crafting. It doesn't have to be Pinterest perfect. It doesn't have to look exactly like some picture where everything is just color coordinated and absolutely perfect. It can look however you want. As an example, the bottom tier of my rolling cart is paper and that doesn't look really cutesy or cool or color coordinated but I have to be able to access my paper quickly and so I got a removable shallow box that I put in that bottom tier and so I can just easily pull out the paper and leaf through what I have to find what I'm looking for. You can use whatever you have on hand to make your crafting cart great. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have fun as you are organizing your own craft cart and filling it with craft supplies. I would love to see any of what you do. You can tag me on Instagram or you can comment below and let me know you're working on this as well. Oh, one last thing. There is a link to the full blog post on this in my description box below. You can read more if you're interested. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I make videos on this this channel all about decluttering, organizing, and creating beauty in your home on a budget. And I'll see you next time. Bye.